Get out there and strut your stuff. <laughs> Hiya, Def. I like to see you, Def. Actually, I was just climbing down from the attic where I was trapped, but you're welcome anyway. What happened? Where's the vampire? Did he get away? Nope. He's right over there. Oh, no! He's gone! Well, guess it looks like I won't be needing these anymore. Wow. I guess garlic really does work on vampires. Yeah, that's the creep who had me locked up, too. Be careful, Daphne. Don't worry, it's hypoallergenic. Steve or Tescue? Okay, so we've proven Steve is the vampire, but we don't have a clue who's been helping him escape from his cell. That's not exactly true. It's no makeup effect. Steve and the vampire look identical because they're twin brothers. Of course! How else could anyone be in two places at one time? Unless they look exactly alike. I bet that birth certificate with the name Stu really belongs to Steve's brother here. And this photo of Steve looking in the mirror was really just the two brothers standing face to face. Okay, but that still doesn't explain why they wanted to trash our video shoot. I think they wanted to scare everybody off and ruin Owen's business. And, and it would have worked if it weren't for your meddling kids. kids. Hi, everybody. You'll be happy to know we finally caught Fred Matt. Oh, hello, Fred. Oh. If you're Fred, then who's this on my shoulder? <laughs> Coming soon to your favorite music channel near you, see the fantabulous, the super babulous, the something else bulous, the one, the only, the Hex Girls! You have to meet your fellow circus artists. Yay! Any one of whom could be a bloodthirsty monster. Boo! Whitney Doubleday. He's our animal trainer. Hmm. Hello? Yes? <laughs> like what happened, Scoob? Oh, terribly sorry. 30 minutes every day. Marvelous for the lower back. Whitney Doubleday, animal trainer. Good boy. Who's a howl? Whitney Doubleday, animal trainer. Good boy. Sorry, after 40 years of handing out treats, it's become a habit. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, Shaggy Rogers, I'm also an animal trainer. Um, I guess I'm more of an animal partner. Ah, partners. Well, I suppose if you're a team, that's different. I thought it was odd that Marius hired you. You see, he eliminated all the trained animals from the circus. Really? Huh. Well, you must be angry and embittered and seeking revenge. Ha <laughs> ha not at all. I was retiring anyway. The public doesn't want trained animals anymore. Too many stories about abusive training techniques. Of course, I never hurt any of my animals. Right, Leone? But there are a few bad apples out there. No, I'm afraid my kind of act is a thing of the past. Hey, um, have you ever trained, I don't know, for instance, just off the top of my head, um, wolves? Wolves? No, no one works with wolves. They're too unpredictable. I'd have better luck trying to train a hurricane. 
So, if you're not in the show, why are you and your animals here? Well, we're just along for the ride. I'm transporting them to a sanctuary in California that's agreed to take them. I think I'll miss my baboons the most. So much like people, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't really see any resemblance. Escuchen me, bailadores! Mm -hmm. Soldados! Boxeadores! Descanso! I always use Spanish commands. The animals are less likely to hear shouts from the audience and get confused. Inclinarse! Wow, Scoob! You think we could do something like that? Sure! Bailador! Well, it's unusual. I'll give them that. You're right about that Black Rattler management company, Daphne. I'm going to have to do a little internet research on them. What about Dave and David? What are they up to? The producers? Maybe they're here to... No, I mean, what are they up to right now? Totally suspicious. Should we follow them? I say yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's gonna be dark soon, and there's a ghost around. Fine. We'll go, and you can stay here all alone in the place where the ghost appeared last. All right, let's find out what they're up to. Yeah. <laughs> doing here what's that case that he's carrying is it a gun i think it is come on man move we can't see scooch over can i just <laughs> this clear to you. We are never not going to be hungry. Sometimes we start lunch before we finish breakfast. And as a matter of fact, we've put more all-you-can-eat buffets out of business than E. coli. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the Maisonette field test. No, 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 no. Netmaster 3000. Netmaster 3000. <laughs> <laughs> Not the face! No! Aha! Oh, 
I should have gone with the Amazonet. He's after us! Oh, oh, oh. You can't chase me! I'm a relative! <laughs> Disappointed in you, Netmaster. <laughs> oh. Man, am I glad to see you guys. Join us. What are you doing? It's us, Shaggy and Scooby, and your <laughs> hideous, sinister zombies. But, like, that's okay. <laughs> Friends don't judge. <laughs> I could see you ten or twelve times a day. I think it's best we do it your therapist way. I got my hair long in the webby coat, yeah. I get so lovesick, my sad thoughts flow for time. A little bit of stopping. I want a house on a beach and you in my dreams. I need work, yeah, and love, 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 love the time. You've got me right. You've got me tired. Wow, for a place that's short on powder rooms, it sure is long on plumbing. Well, Scoob, looks like we're being hunted down by our best friends in the whole world. Guess we need to do something besides the old standbys. Quivering and whimpering. <laughs> lock. Now, what would Daphne do? She'd trick the lock. Good thing I always carry my portable pocket lunch utensils. Fred would have been proud. Well, hello. What's this gizmo? If I were Velma, I'd try to figure it out. Hmm. Let's see. It works, but what does it do? Quick! Grab 
I'm Scooby and Shaggy. <laughs> We've got to get out of here. <laughs> you know, Scoob, we already got one mystery on our hands. We don't need two more. Let's skedaddle. And fast. <laughs> A talking dog? Bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Like those dudes are like a bad toaster. They pop up when you least expect it. Well, I'll be. You're the two that vanquished the ghost bear. <laughs> Scared, excited, same time, brain confused. Skinny man and dead meat, right? Like, yeah. But you can call us Shaggy and Scooby. In fact, you can call us anything you like. But please don't call us to our final rest, Mr. Undertaker Phenom Dead Man, sir. <laughs> the bell tolls only for the demon. And you can just call me Taker. You learn anything about that creature, you let me know. Scooby, Scooby, Scooby! <laughs> Looks like you've got another fan besides me. <laughs> we have no idea why a demon driver or anyone would want to stop the race. Maybe it's someone who's desperate to get the prize money. That would not be us, mi querida señorita. We are in it for the honor of the Matadors. Mwah. What is that interesting scent you assault my nostrils with? <laughs> Sulfur. Looks like I've got a mystery on my hands. <laughs> Hey, Triple H. Fred, Daphne. Do you know my wife, Stephanie? Just by reputation. Daughter of Mr. McMahon and a champion in the ring and the business world. Also known as the Billion Dollar Princess. Really? That's great. I like your friends, Hunter. And I love those classic Takamotos. Thanks. Fashion for the girl of action. Daddy bought them. A generous father. Looks like we have that in common, too. We're actually helping your dad on this demon case. What do you know about the demon? Only that he'd better not get on Hunter's bad side, if he knows what's good for him. Stephanie, I thought we decided you weren't going to compete because you had too much work to do. And I told you I can think up Muscle Moto X, plan it, and win it. No, Stephanie, you're doing too much, and that's not safe. You're out. But I'm Hunter's racing partner. It's Kobe, it's Kobe, it's Kobe! It's Kobe, it's Kobe! Like three! I'm sure I can find someone else. You can't be serious. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is now being served. No, no. <laughs> I heard someone stole all the crystal doorknobs at school. My mom and dad say they were missing at the haunted museum, too. Somebody should tell the neckbeard driving that truck to dial it back. <laughs> 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 anymore. Jeez, talk about a lucky break. Not that lucky.
you overgrown lizard? Um, technically, Freddy, the monster wouldn't be a lizard. Lizards are ectothermic, whereas this monster is clearly amphibious. Not the time, Velma. Double come around and grow if we let him do the ball. Governor, care for a sweep of the old chimney then? Hold on. See, your sweater's in the way. That's not my sweater. Right? That's so cool. You probably have a huge following on the internet. Have your own blog? But it wasn't around back then. Heck, I don't think there were even computers back then. <laughs> ah, we should have left them in the eyes. I still can't feel my fingers. Ew, what's that? Condensation, probably from the air vents. Looks like alien juice to me. And you've seen alien juice before? No, not exactly. But if I were to take a guess at what it looked like, I would say it would look a lot like that. Could this day get any worse? <laughs> what the blazes is going on? Alien big <laughs> chasing us. It hates food and likes melting brains. Maybe it's lost. Or maybe it doesn't exist. Wait, where did you see an alien? Dude, restaurant! And you left before you were done eating? Uh-huh. Shaggy and Scooby would never leave food behind. Something was in that restaurant. And that's the truth! So help me hot dogs. Okay, let's go take a look. Oh, sure, why not? I could use a good laugh. <laughs> that's not funny. Look at this. It's lucky no one's hurt. Tell that to the poor spring rolls! Or to anybody replaced by an alien imposter, because they do that. Better the food than the ship. Watch your mouth, Hollywood. Shaggy is very sensitive when it comes to food. Well, it could have been worse. Exactly. Good point, Daphne. Yes, Daphne, well done. It's lucky we have a space expert like you here. What's that about? I have an idea. Talk to the chef Slybot. He didn't say anything. Maybe because he's scared. Or maybe because Slybots can't talk. Uh, right. So we have two witnesses. Right, who are eating raw fish off the floor. Come on, Zip, this is a joke. There's no alien and we've got work to do. <laughs> Come on, you nefarious nobodies. Let us A-listers show you how to skin a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Is there room in this wacky race for the Monster Bank of Menace? Is that the Joker? And Penguin. <laughs>
confront super-powered heroes and villains in the mystery machine. We won't have to. Get in the car. I'll cover you. Just a jump from a moving car into a moving car. Uh -uh. <laughs> that was fun. Come on, gang. that way. As a smoke screen? Phew. Turn back there, Gap. Maybe you should slow it down. You know, safety. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
the great and powerful Cleopatra. All shall bow down before me. <laughs> Two Cleopatras? Here, try a little blush. We'll take it from here, other Cleopatra. Come on. Whoa! Look what I found! Is it going to make us say ew? We're rich! Sorry, it's only iron pie, right? Fool's gold, mate. Well, if any fools come through here, it's their lucky day. Yeah! <laughs> So many choices. Which way do we go? I think it's time we split up. Well, I'm going with Melbourne. Me too. Me too. Crikey, that's not exactly splitting up. I'll go on my own. You ladies go with Fred. Shaggy and Scooby, you make a vigorous team. <laughs> we'll meet back in the main tunnel. We'll just follow these little train tracks. And this must be how the miners got around. And look, moldy miner munchies. <laughs> well, a 75-year-old sandwich is better than none. Yep. <laughs> this tunnel sure makes loud echoes. Like, tell me that's you, Scoob. Uh-oh. I don't think it's me either. <laughs> I know that's not me. Come on! <laughs>
I heard some commotion. Everybody all right? Did the monster do that? Nope. Those two don't need any help getting into trouble. Now, let's see. Oh, thanks, big guy. Like who knew I had a reset button? See, Dad? Titanic Twist destroyed your exhibit. That means he's probably coming after you next. Kids, I'm not gonna let a little giant monster scare me off. We just don't want to see you get hurt, Dad. I can take care of myself. Okay, gang, it's time to split up and look for clues. Again, only this time we're going undercover. Do I even want to know? Ooh, the female wrestler's dressing room. How great is this? I wish I had a camera. I wish I had a mask. Here you go. Wow, Mr. Bosifa sure has a big office. There's bound to be some clues in here somewhere. Speaking of bound clues, the scientist. Good work, guys. Let's wake him up. No, no, no. Get me out of here. Great. Now we're clueless. Find anything? Nothing my size. Hey, what are you two doing in here? You aren't lady wrestlers. Uh, sure we are. I'm, um, uh, I'm bookworm. And this is... Fashion sense. The last thing we need is competition from two girly girls. But there's an easy way to see if your story checks out. Uh, um, can we try another move, please? You're stretching my outfit. <gasps> Daphne, the new spring fashions are here. Where? Ooh. So I grab under here and throw. <laughs> Hey, it works. What do you call that move? A flying dinkly. Okay, guys, look around for anything suspicious. Like I think that's Daphne and Velma wrestling. You're right. And I can't believe Velma knows the Ozark Mountain pile driver. Hey, it's Titanic Twist. Good thing it's just on the monitor, eh, Scoob? <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> that way, Freddy! <laughs> <laughs> Zoinks! No need to panic, guys. Okay, now you can panic. Freddy, you're a wrestler. Like, do something. My moves only work on opponents with an arm on each side, not against creepy contorted creatures. Well, it's a good thing we're dressed as janitors because things are about to get messy. <laughs> Lovely. Isn't this just honky dory? Absolutely no worries. I hope you'll all remember what a fun time we had here come election day. Mm -hmm. Now let's all try and enjoy them. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Peace out, dude. <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. Thanks. All right, gang, this is it. When the going gets tough, what do we do? Bury our heads in the sand?
Scooby-Doo! <laughs> you wasted the Weaky Tiki! You were like totally radical, Scoob! Yeah! The animatronic kind. I think she means animatronic. I was playing in the arcade earlier, and Pizza Opossum attacked me himself. He attacked, attacked you himself? himself? I'm afraid it's true. You see, Pizza Opossum was once our biggest draw. <laughs> Kids would come from all over to see our animatronic mascot sing his trademark songs. But as time went on, his act got old, and kids lost interest. Eventually, I decided it best to deactivate him, put him in storage. But when I went to unplug him, he went haywire, seeking revenge on the audience that no longer loved him. <laughs> and he's been on the loose ever since. <laughs> Sounds like an animoronic mystery. Oh, no! We came here to play games, win prizes, and eat pizza! Pizza? We did not come here to solve mysteries! No, we did not. Well, if you solve this one, I'll give you pizza pup. <laughs> Like, I know mysteries are scary, Scoob, but it's for Pizza Pup. He's worth it. Speaking of pizza. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to Pizza Opossum's Pizza Stop. How can I serve you? We'll take two pepperoni pizzas, please. Super. We haven't had so many sales since that scary possum surfaced. Like you've seen Pizza Opossum? Seen him? I'm his biggest fan. The less bratty kids around here, the better. As for your pizzas, that'll be 72 tickets, please. But, like, we haven't won any tickets yet. We can pay cash. Hmm. So sorry. No acceptance. See me when you have tickets. She took my 20. Like, I guess we better win some tickets. Unless the tickets find us. Well, that's convenient. Like, maybe they lead to a pot of gold. No, to your right. Like, am I getting it? To your other right. Tell me where. Uh oh. Someone else wants a turn. Uh oh. Uno, dos, tres, cinco, seis. Just a little closer. Say hello to Mr. Trap. <laughs> Got him. This town's ours now. Get there.
Velma, over here! Get behind me! I never thought it would end this way! Goodbye, Scooby-Doo! Goodbye, Saggy. You were a dog's best friend. <laughs> Sandal Subal Sabi Bubble Melon. No, no, no. <laughs> Open your grotesque ears, you ignorant green skinned broke of a man. Now I'm going to say it once again very, very slowly. It sure is creepy in here. Like the fog is so thick you can cut it with a knife. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna like the answer, but I'll ask anyway. What was that? Ghost pirates. Told you I wouldn't like it. Zoinks! Yeah, zoinks! Who dares sail into the Bermuda Triangle? Ye have crossed paths with Captain Skunkbeard the Pirate. And now you shall pay the price. Oh, cheese and crackers! <laughs> we have to get out of here before it's too late. Fred, we should listen to the man. I know you be here, you scurvy coward. You escaped me once, but not a second time will ye hide from the fury of Captain Skunkbeard. Do you see any ghosts? No. This spooky old ship looks deserted to me. Well, if I know Shag and Scoob, they're already aboard. Come on, let's find them. Yeah, and maybe we can find some clues as well. This must be Redbeard's cabin, Scoob. And look at that kooky picture on the wall. <laughs> that must be old Redbeard himself. Oh, 
Shown its face to you yeah. today, so don't delay. It's time for hiding and dividing from the fury and the sound. And cutting like a knife, the wind is howling and the growling of the thunder's there to plunder and to swallow up the ground. Winds will blow, the seas will swell and overflow. So fair, be well as a land will quake. The swing and sway, all waves are break. So stow away and away, take up and all surround. Lonely winds for we are bound. Today, so come what may, you'll take your chances in advance as they're upon you to remain. It stirs and swells and harbors, so try to hide and cover. There's a patch upon the eye of the hurricane. Winds will blow, the seas will swell and overflow. So fair, be well as a land will quake. A swing and sway, all waves are break. So don't delay and away, hang up and all surround. Blow ye winds for we are bound. Now it's parental. Like wow! Glowing seaweed! It looks like you found a clue, Scooby-Doo. Well, what do we do we do? Did you find anything? Here it is. Phosphorum pyrifera. Like speak English. A phosphorus glowing seaweed found only in the area known as the graveyard of ships. That's where Captain Cutler went down then maybe that's where we'll find his ghost and the answer to our mystery. But what about Ebenezer Shark? I don't know, but he headed for the marina about an hour ago. I wonder what he's up to. There it is, the graveyard of ships. I don't like it. Hey, look, a bottle. And there's a note inside. Well, what does it say? No deposit, no return. Big help. We're getting close. Keep a sharp lookout for anything suspicious. Look, one of the yachts from the marina. Hey, there's no one aboard. And the motor's not running. Then, like, what's making it go? Ghost power. I was afraid you'd say that. Come on, let's follow it. It's going into that cove, and there's no way out. Hey, something's wrong. It's gone. Vanished into thin air. It's like weirdo. Well, like I always say, onward and downward. In the graveyard of ships, that is. The Cyclops? That ship has been missing for more than a hundred years. So I guess they won't be saving us. <laughs> we must be going into the heart of the Bermuda Triangle. Be hearty, me mateys. This is our moment of truth. Yo! Oh! Yo! We've got to do something. Oh! 
Never underestimate the power of platinum. <laughs> Voila! Now, we have to find the other captives. Do you know where they are, Pop? Ah, oh, shucks. I haven't seen anyone else but the ghost pirates. They must be below deck. This way. After tonight, we will achieve what other men have only dreamed of. We will travel through time. What? At the center, we will find the Heaven's Light, which fell to Earth centuries ago. Do you mean a meteor? The Heaven's Light is the source of the Triangle's amazing power. After tonight, the power will be mine. But there is no power. Silence! The captain speaks! Once I have the Heaven's Light in my hands, I will be able to leap through time. The waves of years past will once again belong to Captain Skunkbeard. You people are insane! Belay the yapping ye bilge-sucking cur, and tell me, be this the exact spot where the painting was made? We're almost there. There's Rigel, Beetlejuice, and Polaris. And it is exactly 2222 hours. The tide is at its lowest. But there's nothing out here, just hundreds of miles of open sea. Land ho! But that's impossible. Here's our chance. Let's go find the others. <laughs>